All right, hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning. Um, I had an amazing day yesterday with some really good learning points that after each one of the conversations and meetings, I was like, you know, I need to share this. There's some really good points here that I feel like could benefit someone out there that's watching or listening. And I have a lot of days that I, I have these experiences that I want to share and I hesitate because I'm like, does anybody care? Is anybody going to sit here and listen and watch this? And, um, and then I remember what it is that we're trying to do. We're, we're trying to help people live their most amazing life possible. And I say we, you know, I'm talking about myself and our community and I'm talking about the leaders that I interact with on a daily basis and, and especially Colby. You know, Colby and I sit down and we talk every single day um, about how to optimize things for ourselves and also how to, how to help people get engaged and stay engaged and stay on track. And, and it seems like we're up against so much because not only is what we're teaching somewhat counter conventional wisdom but then we're also dealing with emotions and habituations and urges and cravings and then uh, the challenges of just human interaction and people getting up in their heads and people falling off and coming back on and um, it's just a, a really interesting journey that we're on here together and um, something that we acknowledge each and every day is that we are on this journey too like we um, First of all, like most of the things that we talk about with people are things that we are either working with ourselves or have worked with at some point. And uh, we've just been doing it maybe for a little bit longer. And, um, and then uh, I think we're humble enough to understand and admit that we are still like learning and figuring out and dealing with our different issues and things. So um, anyway, I love my life. You know, I, I'm at this point right now and you know, I, I used to talk a lot about the way that I feel and I tried to move away from that because I don't want this to be ever about me. I want it to be about empowering other people. But I love my life. I love every bit of what I do. I love my mornings. I love waking up. I love my workouts. I love my day. I love my clients. I love talks. I love the challenges. Um, I love my interactions. Um, I love coming home. I love my love life. I love my sleep. I mean, there's, I love everything about my life with all the ups and downs. And I'm convinced, and we are convinced, that it is because of this foundation of real food and prioritizing sleep and having a mindfulness practice and having a fitness program and, and all the things that we talk about on a regular basis, that foundation allows you to show up in the midst of this chaotic, problematic, crazy life that's not gonna change, that's always gonna be there, and you just show up different, like you experience life different, and this is what we want for people. This is exactly what we want for people. You know. So anyway, um, let me start with the conversation that I have with this guy yesterday, and uh, it's this young man, I would consider him a friend, and um, so a couple weeks ago, I went through some of the, our basic foundational rules as far as food goes, and for him, I think he's one of these people that knows too much. Like he comes into this, not that you can know too much, but it's like one, you have too much in the back of your mind, too many concepts, and it interferes with you experimenting with something. And so, you know, he said several times, what I love about this guy is like, he always comes to me and he comes to me with his questions and concerns and disagreements. And, and you know, so he, can't, he wants to believe. You know, yesterday this conversation started out. I was like, how are things going? He said, they're going pretty good. Do you have a moment? I was like, yeah, sure. And we sat down and started talking. He's like, you know, I want to believe in what you're doing. And by the way, I've implemented what you've said and I feel better already and I'm sleeping better and my digestion's better. And he said, but, um, but I'm just, I just have some questions and concerns. And the first thing that came up was this, this idea around, you know, because we recommend having a set number of meals and not snacking in between or at least not grazing all day. And so his concern is, do you ever have people that are not hitting their, their total caloric intake needs of the day and therefore have some low energy levels because they're not eating so often? And I thought that was a really good question. And, and it brought up this idea of uh, why we teach people not to restrict the most nutrient dense of the foods. When it comes to animal foods and traditional fats and nutrient dense vegetables, we don't have any restriction whatsoever. We don't tell people to hit a certain amount of ounces of protein or meat or a certain amount of ounces of, of vegetables or fat or anything else because we want people to eat those things liberally because those are the things that flood your body with nutrients. And if you allow yourself to eat to fullness when it comes to those foods, you are giving your body everything that it needs and also allowing and facilitating the body to communicate with you about what it needs. And if you're eating those nutrient dense foods and as much as you want, then what you're going to notice is that your body auto regulates its appetite. It has auto satiation because it is getting what it needs and it starts to tell you I need more or less, right? In, in the form of like being hungry or less hungry, right? 
So the, the tricky part there is the carbohydrates on top of these nutrient dense and caloric dense foods, which is why we have our rules around carbohydrates. And the main one is that they need to come from real food sources and they need to be in moderated amounts. And magically everything works itself out. Um, we've gone through our years of complication. My first five years here in Vegas were all about weighing and measuring and um, inputting numbers and testing glucose and ketones and, and, um, and we had spreadsheets and I remember me and my cohorts, my nutrition cohorts, um, and I have several across the country that I interact with regularly, we'd always say you have to complicate things to simplify things and it always comes back to the same basic rules. And, um, and, and that's what we have settled on is that Although a lot of us expect a complicated answer, the solution is extremely simple. And the solution is our basic foundational principles. Um, in the food realm, it's eating 100% fresh real food, focusing on nutrient dense foods, and then also training the body how to be metabolically flexible and burn fat for fuel. And I think that's universal for all human beings. And if you allow yourself to embrace the foods that we've been told that we're not supposed to eat for the majority of our lives, like animal foods and traditional fats and saturated fats that come from real food sources, if you allow yourself to embrace those things and, and don't give yourself restrictions, you're gonna notice that you feel way better because you're giving your body what it needs and your appetite magically auto-regulates, right? Um, so we had a conversation around that, and I think that made a lot of sense to him, but still he just, you know, he's, he's in this mode of he has to experience it himself, and so he's going to. Um, I think another thing that came up with that is this whole idea that we're all different, you know, and that we need different protocols and plans and things. And, and I understand the whole concept of we're all different in individuals, but we are also all part of the same species, all right? We're all human beings, we're all homo sapiens, we all have the same evolutionary past, and we all have the same digestive system, which means that we are all designed to eat the same thing. And I think from a foundational principle standpoint, conceptual standpoint, we all need to eat for nutrients and we all need to eat in a way that trains the body how to use fat for fuel, all right? And within that basic framework, the individuality comes from our tolerances and intolerances and our dysfunction. And some of that's hereditary. And the only way to figure that out is within the basic framework of real food, according to our definition, again, based on our evolutionary past and our uh, anatomy and physiology and digestive system, within that basic framework, that's where we recommend doing constant experimenting. You're constantly pulling stuff out and you're constantly bringing it back in. And sometimes it's useful to have the help of uh, a medical doctor that understands and believes in ancestral health that can facilitate some uh, intolerance testing, food intolerance testing, and, and and maybe do some other things that can help you pinpoint some of your dysfunction. But in general, that is where the individuality comes from. It comes from how much we can tolerate and where our dysfunction is and figuring out what those things are that trigger that, you know? So, and the final thing that we had in our little conversation that I really, really uh, admired was that this young man, and again, a friend um, said, what I do notice is that as I'm sitting here talking to you right now, I am fully engaged and I'm awake and I'm aware and, and I'm excited, right? But I don't have that throughout the rest of the day. You know, sometimes I'll get involved in something, I've got a little bit of energy and excitement and interest, and then outside of that I have kind of low energy. And what I notice about you and Colby is that you guys are, you're always on. Like you're always, you always seem to be in a good mood or emotionally kind of stable or even keel. You always seem to have uh, high energy levels and to be engaged. And he's like, you know, what is that? Like, how is that? What, what's happening? And again, <laughs> it's like we want something complicated. But the solution, the reason that we are like this and that our veterans are like this and the people that continue to try to optimize with us are like this is because we are constantly trying to optimize the basics and that is eating 100% fresh real food, focusing on nutrients and metabolic flexibility. We prioritize sleep, we meditate most days and we practice mindfulness. And, um, and then of course we have a, a consistent fitness program. And when you find health, you find yourself, you show up and life is different. You become a different person. We see it each and every day. I feel like we're a part of some, I don't know, like a Jedi counselor or something like that, you know? And this is what we want for everyone. This is what I was telling them. This is exactly why we're doing what we're doing because this is what we want for all the people that we work with. All right, so that was the first conversation. And um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that and break this up and do a separate conversation on uh, another talk that I had.